What's up? What's up? I'm back in the classroom. Two days only. Two days only. <laughs> All right. So it is Thursday the 18th. Um, you got me in here for two days only. Um, let's just keep it moving. Okay. So I gave the students in class a choice, but y'all ain't getting no choice. So I'm just going to tell y'all I was out in student leadership training. These are kind of the things that I was doing. So just imagine a room filled with probably like 30 or 40 of these posters everywhere. That's kind of what it was looking like. And we were taking notes like crazy. We were learning so much stuff. Training from night till day. Literally, literally. Um, got to eat dinner outside or eat like lunch, breakfast, lunch, and dinner outside, which actually was pretty cool. I, I haven't really done that too much. Um, it was very beautiful where we were at. It was right above Santa Cruz. But we didn't have time to be hanging out and all that kind of stuff i did however get found the opportunity to work out each day so that was cool and these are some of the teachers that i actually got to work with and they're like from all over the country so it, it was actually really cool to work with people from oklahoma or texas and all these different places so that was actually really cool so um but me and mrs denise will be taking over web which is the student leadership and um kind of obviously oh no i don't want to i don't want to do that it's like, do you want to restart your computer? I'm like, nah, get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, y'all see now, huh? Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, kind of revamp it some a little bit and then also update it with, you know, the new things that they have coming out about the program and things. And then, um, yeah, so, so we'll be taking over web next year. So it should be really awesome. It, it's going to be crazy, but it's going to be awesome. I'm excited for, for the opportunity. All right, so that's what I was doing. And then also on Monday, or no, on Friday, on Friday when y'all was taking the quiz, I was out in training uh, as well. Not training, that was actually a meeting. So, um, but this right here, blot out. Who left my desk like this? Who is it? Who is the one? So if you see this or you're the one who did it, I'm like, just fix it, make it nice and neat. It's not a big deal, not a big deal at all. If you see this kind of problem, I'm like, I don't care if you use the plug for my desk. I don't care about none of that. What I do care about is that if you make something, if you mess something up, or if you see that something's messed up, I want you to be the type of student who will just take care of it and fix things, okay? All right, so hopefully you were standing on business while I was gone, and let's just talk about that real quick. Um, actually, I guess we'll talk about that after this. So um, in class, we're just having a, a, short, uh, a short pop quiz, so this is what I'm gonna have you guys do since you're online. I'm going to have you guys, right, just take the pop quiz, okay? And so you'll just pause your screen. So um, the number one is celestial. Again, celestial is your number one. So again, pause the screen as you need be. Here, let me, let me, I, I'm not going to go back. I'm not going to go, actually, I'm going to go back. So number one is your celestial. So write that down on your paper. Write, write down pop quiz on your paper. Write your name. Write celestial is your number one, okay? Then right below, write astronomy as your number two. And then just go ahead and, like I said, define it. So celestial is your number one, define it. Astronomy, number two, define it. And then astrology is going to be your number three, and then define it. So I'll repeat that one more time. Celestial is your number one for the pop quiz, define it. Astronomy is your number two for the pop quiz, define it. And, and astrology down there is going to be your number three for the pop quiz, and define it. Now let me tell you something. Don't cheat. Use your brain. Use your brain do to the best of your ability, okay? All right, cool. I'm going to move forward, but you can pause as you need to write. Cool. Now, for your number four, it's going to be constellations. And again, write down the word and then the definition. Number five is going to be star, name, and definition. Boom, sun. That's going to be your six. Okay. And then solar systems is going to be your seven. Okay. So make sure, again, that you write those down. And then go ahead and write the definitions to the best of your ability. Pause the screen if you need to. Okay. Couple questions. Did you pause the screen? Did you write down that everything out of your own brain? Is that where you got your answer from? Did you do your very best? If you did those things, then you can proceed. If you have not done those things yet, please go back and do them. Thank you very much for your cooperation. All right, so let's go ahead and go through the actual answers and see what's 
what, okay? So celestial, right, and let's just say what this word means. It's, it's a position in or relating to the sky or outer space or observed in astronomy. So any of these things will be celestial objects. So these are all objects that exist, right, in outer space. So, and then here's the crazy part. Is the Earth a celestial object? Yes, it is. So any planets, stars, moons, asteroids, right, nebulas, star clusters, any of those types of things, quasars, all these different types of things that we probably have heard of, maybe not even sure what they are, don't worry about that, galaxies, those all exist out there, we would call those celestial or celestial objects. Astronomy, right, is a branch of science that deals with celestial objects, right? So again, astronomy is studying all of those celestial objects out in the whole physical universe, and astrology, right, is those same celestial objects or bodies and how they're moved and then how that is interpreted to have a meaning on humans. So astronomy is just the study of the celestial objects, just period, physically how they move in the universe, where astronomy is saying, well, based on their movements, right, we're interpreting them to mean this for human beings. So again, what we do in here is astronomy and it has some relation to astrology, but again, they are not the same at all. And the only relation is the fact that astrology looks at how they move, and that's basically astronomy, okay? All right, cool. On to constellations. Let's go here. So it is a group of stars that form a pattern or shape in the night sky when viewed from Earth. Is that what you got? Is that what you got? So this one right here is going to be... Um, so again, it's about how we view them from Earth and it is a group of stars. If we went to a different planet, we would see different constellations, right? Different constellations. All right. So a star is a celestial body. Again, we're coming back to that word again, celestial body. So something that's out in space and it's a mass of gas that's held together by its own gravity. And the type of energy that it has is nuclear energy. It is not burning. Now, the closest celestial body mass of gas to us is this thing called the sun. So it's a luminous star around which Earth and other planets revolve. So it is our star, right? It is our star, So and we call that the sun. And then right here on solar systems, a star and group of planets and other celestial bodies that are held together by a gravitational attraction. By the way, I didn't have the mic pointed towards me this whole time, so hopefully you guys were hearing everything. My bad if it wasn't super clear, or if it was a little bit, like, not as clear as normal. Sorry, y'all. All right, so again, a solar system is a, is a star, and then the group of planets or celestial bodies. Other celestial bodies besides planets could be moons or asteroids that revolve around said star. How did you do? How did you do? Uh, do you, so if you got, like, a one to five, you probably need to go back and study. Five is on the borderline, but you probably need to go back and study and review these terms and make sure you have a basic understanding of what they are, okay? All right, cool. So I just wanna know if you have been, right? Have you been standing, have y'all been standing on business, right? Right, have y'all been standing on business? So ha have you been? So, um, and if you've been standing on business, you know what that means over here? That means on page 49, you scan that and you turn that in. So did you scan that and did you turn that in already? Okay. If you did that, which that should have been easy because legit, we did that last week. All right. Third trimester goals check-in. The check-in. That's where you should be writing this paragraph. It should be, again, be easy. And then um, this is where the, the real work of it starts is the linking literacy, which shouldn't have been too difficult either. But again, um, it was about, I think it was three pages of linking literacy, like the stuff you had to fill out. So um, hopefully you got all that stuff in. Between those two things, these three things, they were all due by Tuesday, okay? Now, here we are on this one. So, so this is the assignment. I kind of talked through it on um, yesterday, on Wednesday, so you can go back and watch that video if you like. I'm not going to walk through this whole thing again, but you see everything you're supposed to do. Again, um, there is a video lesson on it, and then there's also, um, if you click right here, there's a simulation that will help you with your understanding. And then you got a lot of drawing and then some naming to do. So you got some drawing and naming to do, some questions to answer. So make sure that you get all of those. And if you look through here, it's telling you where all the questions and all the different things are at. So make sure, make sure to make sure that you get all that stuff taken care of. All right, y'all, that is actually it for today. Um, I will holler.
Peace.